Hi, my name is Ann Collier. I'm excited to be here talking to you about using coaching skills. Why? Because coaching skills engage and empower others and improve collaboration. The whole point of coaching is to help your colleague, the coachee, go from whatever the current situation to the coachee's goal. The model has five steps, and what makes it coaching is that you ask good open-ended questions to support the coachee, your colleague, in doing his or her best thinking. Step one is to establish the focus. It's got three elements. You've got to establish the topic, the goal, and the takeaway. Step two is brainstorm options. Ask questions like, what do you think you could do here? What have you seen others do? Sometimes people will be really stuck and you can offer up some advice like, well, I've seen uh, strategy A work for others. What do you think about that? What else could you do? It's a little bit of priming the pump there. Step three is about creating the action plan. So asking questions like, what do you need to do first? What's the next step? Which of these steps is most important? Step four is to identify and remove obstacles absolutely critical, especially if your colleagues has had a lot of struggles with a particular type of project. So for example, questions like, what might get in your way? What might interfere with your success? Who do you need to talk to? What other resources do you need? Are all great questions for step four. And finally, step five is reviewing and committing. So ask the coachee, you know, to recap their plan. Questions like, um, so what are you going to do by when? How can I support you? What else do you need? How would you like to follow up with me? Those sorts of questions. Use this model and you'll find that you're going to be engaging and empowering your team members and collaborating more effectively.